Hey guys, Andy here, and welcome to a brand new episode of Q and Andy Japandy, where I answer your questions about life in Japan. So, question number one Do you think, as a new graduate, being well above the average age will hurt you when looking for employment? I think in Japan, age definitely does play a big factor in hiring, and I might get some questions about it, like, why did it take you so freaking long to graduate? Um, but also, on the plus side, age is also revered, so I might actually get more of a nod for being older and having more experience. But most importantly, I think the thing that's really gonna play a factor into my getting hired somewhere after I graduate will be the amount of experience that I have, work experience with other companies. I think that's gonna play more of a factor into my hiring than age. And so, question number two. Are you coming to the Olympics this year? Is the Olympics still scheduled this year or is it pushed back to 2022? So to answer your second question first, the Olympics are definitely happening in 2021, woo. But as far as if I'm gonna be attending, no way, man. It's just too much hassle to even get in and it's just gonna be too much chaos going on in Tokyo for my liking, so when the Olympics are starting, I'm gonna be staying as far away from Tokyo as I possibly can. So question number three, how often do you see newer American cars in Japan and do you play the game called spot the American car? Actually, I tend to see a lot of American cars out here in Japan. It's very common. Uh, but again, depending on where you're at in Japan, your mileage may vary. If you're in a more urban area like Roppongi, for instance, you can't help but see import cars there a lot. Whereas if you're in more of the Inaka side of the house, you might come across an American car, but not too likely. But out here in uh, Kanagawa, I often see a lot of classic American muscle cars just kind of cruising through. So that's often a nice little slice of Americana for me, Mr. Merkajin. So question number four. Have you noticed the difference between the older and younger generation's preference in foods, uh, Western versus Japanese? So I definitely do notice a difference in the eating preferences of the younger generation versus the newer generation of Japanese people. Uh, newer generation tending to gravitate more towards Western foods, whereas the older generation gravitate towards more traditional Japanese foods. However, there are overlaps with things, and I have seen plenty of old folks partake in uh, Western cuisine as well. And I've seen some of the younger folk, you know, indulge in more traditional Japanese foods as well. So your mileage may vary. So question number five. Can you explain how it was to get Japanese health insurance over there and is it required for a student visa? So Japanese health insurance is required for any visa holder out here in Japan. I think the only time I didn't have to get it was when I, I was under SOFA status. Uh, but other than that, yeah, it's definitely required. And once you, get checked in with your ward office. They'll give you a packet of information, give you like a little health card and stuff like that. And they'll start sending you uh, bills in the mail every month to uh, pay on your health insurance. And right now, time's recording uh, for me, cause it is income based, but for me, it's about 4,800 yen a month. So about 45 in the USD, the old burger bucks. So it's not too much, and considering what you all get with it, I think it's a pretty good deal. But they're also income-based, so again, mileage may vary. And they also do have deals where you can pay off for like a full year of insurance. I just recently got the package for that as well, so I'm definitely gonna be taking part in that. And so the last question, question number six, how many more semesters until you get your bachelor's degree? So at the time of this recording, I have three more semesters left until I finally get my bachelor's degree. So I'm set to graduate in late July, early August of 2022. Woo. And I can't wait. <laughs> it's been a long time coming, but uh, we're on the path. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this new episode of Q&A in Japan, where I answer your questions about life in Japan. And in fact, all these questions were posted by you guys. So if you have any questions about life in Japan, studying abroad in Japan, stuff like that, be sure to leave them in the comments down below in the boobity boops and your questions could be in the next video.
So before we close out, I do want to mention some little life updates here. Uh, I just want to apologize for not posting a whole lot on my YouTube channels. Uh, as you guys know, um, after midterms, it gets a little busy for me. So it's hard for me to uh, make vids as I'm working on final projects and studying for finals and stuff like that. So that's kind of where we are with that. But after the semester, I'm going to be going on break for about a month and some change. So I'm hoping to make some more videos during that time as well. So be on the lookout for some cool stuff coming. And with that said, guys, this is Andy. Sign up for now. As always, forever. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.